Second Corinthians chapter 11. Would that ye could bear with me in a little foolishness, but indeed ye do bear with me. For I am jealous over you with a jealousy of God, for I espoused you to one man, that I might present you as a pure virgin to the anointed. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Hawa in his craftiness, your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity and the purity that is toward anointed. For if he that cometh preacheth another Yeshua, whom we did not preach, or if ye receive a different spirit, which ye did not receive, or a different announcement, which ye did not accept, ye bear well. For I reckon myself to have fallen behind the very super sent ones in not one thing. But though I be inexperienced in speech, yet am I not in knowledge. Nay, in every way have we made this manifest to you in all things. Or did I commit a sin in abasing myself that ye might be exalted because I preached to you the announcement of the God for naught. I robbed other assemblies, taking wages of them towards your ministration. And when I was present with you and was in lack, I was not a burden on any man. For the brothers, when they came from Macedonia, supplied the measure of my lack, and in everything I kept myself from being burdensome to you, and so will I keep myself. As the truth of anointed is in me, no man shall stop me of this glorying in the regions of Achaia. For what reason? Because I love you not? The God knoweth. But what I do, that I will do, that I may cut off occasion from them that desire an occasion, that wherein they glory, they may be found even as we. For such men are false sent ones, deceitful workers, fashioning themselves into sent ones of anointed. And no marvel, for even the Shatana fashioneth himself into a messenger of light. It is no great thing, therefore, if his servers also fashion themselves as servers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. I say again, let no man think me foolish, but if ye do, yet as foolish receive me, that I also may glory a little. That which I speak I speak not after Lord Yahweh, but as in foolishness, in this confidence of glorying, since many glory after the flesh, I will glory also. For ye are bearing with the foolish gladly, being wise yourself. For ye are bearing if someone is enslaving you under him, if someone is devouring you, if someone is taking you captive, if someone is exalting himself, if someone is smiting you in the face, I speak by way of disparagement as though we had been weak. Yet whereinsoever any is bold, I speak in foolishness, I am bold also. Are they Evrim? So am I. Are they Yishraelim? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they servers of anointed? I speak as one beside himself. I more, in labors more abundantly, in prisons more abundantly, in stripe, stripes above measure, in deaths oft. Under Yehudim, five times received I forty stripes except one. Thrice. 
was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day have I been in the deep. In journeyings often. In perils of rivers. In perils of robbers. In perils from my countrymen. In perils from those of the nations. In perils in the city. In perils in the wilderness. In perils in the sea. In perils among false brothers. In labor and travail. In watchings often. In hunger and thirst. In fastings often. In cold and nakedness. Besides those things that are without, there is that which presseth upon me daily, the anxiety for all the assemblies. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is caused to stumble, and I burn not? If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things that concern my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Yeshua, he who is blessed into the eons, knoweth that I lie not. In Damashq, the governor under Aretas, the king, guarded the city of the Damashkenes, the Damashkins, in order to take me. And through a window was I let down in a basket by the wall and escaped his hands.